Hello, I am Dr. Ifi. Let us talk about your ROH blood group status, popularly known as ROH factor. ROH blood group system is another type of blood group system that is different from ABO blood group system. ROH factor, also known as resus factor, is a type of protein that belongs to this blood group that is found on the red blood cells. This protein is of different types, but the most common among them are Rh factor big D, Rh factor big C, Rh factor big E, Rh factor little c, and Rh factor little e. The proteins are genetically inherited, that is, passed down to you from your parents. If you have the Rh protein, you are Rh positive. If you don't, you are Rh negative. The majority of people, about 85%, are Rh positive, while few are Rh negative. The key thing is that some of us have Rh antigen, while others don't. If it is present, the blood is Rh positive. If not, it is Rh negative. For example, some people in group A will have it and will therefore be referred to as A, RSD positive or A positive. Why the ones that don't are A, RSD negative or A negative. And so it goes for groups B, A, B and O. Why is it very important for you to know your average blood group status? The antibodies when produced in the plasma of Rh negative individual have the capacity to cause 1. Hemolytic transfusion reaction 2. Hemolytic disease of the newborn commonly clinically seen as severe jaundice in the newborn. Note, the key thing is that a person with Rh negative blood does not have Rh antibodies naturally in the plasma. The antibodies can only be formed through exposure to the antigens, and this exposure is what every Rh negative individual, especially young girls and women of childbearing age, must prevent at all times. It should also be noted that sensitization to produce these antibodies normally occurs during the first pregnancy, that is, if the person has not been sensitized as a young girl through abortion. Or D and C. And it is only if the baby is Rh positive why the mother is Rh negative. The subsequent pregnancies will then be affected if there was no medical intervention. Explaining further, incompatibility is seen in Rh negative woman married to Rh positive man and bears Rh positive fetus. The woman often had healthy first baby, but subsequent pregnancy may result in severe anemia in the fetus or still birth and spontaneous abortion. The first pregnancy with an Rh positive fetus may sensitize the mother to produce antigen. This antibody then cross the placenta and enter the fetus blood circulation to harm the baby. This harm against the baby becomes progressively more severe with each subsequent pregnancy. Note. This will not happen if the baby is Rh negative. If Rh positive man marries Rh positive woman, they will have Rh positive child. This will pose no medical problem. If Rh negative man marries Rh negative woman, they will have Rh negative child. This will pose no medical problem. If Rh negative man marries Rh positive woman, they will have Rh positive child or Rh negative child. This will pose no medical problem. If Rh positive man marries Rh negative woman, this is where the problem is. The woman will need close monitoring during pregnancy. If the baby is Rh negative, no problem. But if the baby is Rh positive, the woman needs doctor's intervention to avoid being sensitized by baby's red blood cells to produce Rh antibody. 
examples of procedures that can sensitize individuals who is Rh negative to produce Rh antibodies are one blood transfusion. One transfused with Rh positive blood. Two abortion, GNC, miscarriage, ectopic pregnancy. If the baby aborted or miscarried is Rh positive. Three pregnancy during delivery. If the baby is Rh positive and pattern hemorrhage. Placental abruption if the baby is Rh positive. How to prevent sensitization during pregnancy? 1. It is important for every woman to know her APO and Rh blood group. 2. Those that are negative must avoid procedures like abortion and DNC that can sensitize them as young girls. 3. Every pregnant woman must register for antenatal in a recognized medical facility. 4. Those that are Rh negative must be monitored and also given anti G immunoglobulin at 28 weeks of pregnancy and also shortly after delivery of Rh positive baby or at the time of induced or spontaneous abortion to prevent the fetal red blood cells from sensitizing the mother. These passively acquired antibodies destroy any fetal cells that got into her circulation before they can elicit an active immune response in her. Five. Rh immunoglobulin must be administered in each pregnancy if the fetus is Rh positive to prevent maternal sensitization. Do you know which blood group you belong to? According to ABO and Rh blood group system, you can belong to any of these eight blood groups. 1. A. Rhg positive. 2. B. Rhg positive. 3. AB, RSG positive. 4. O, RSG positive. 5. A, RSG negative. 6. B, RSG negative. 7. AB, RSG negative. 8. O, RSG negative. Which one among these is your own blood group? Hope you have learned something. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Hematology and Blood Transfusion Science Lecture. Also, remember to like and comment on our videos. Thank you.